everything about this stand is just complete garbage. Even these wheels. Yeah. The locking things are fucking broken. Like plastic <laughs> wheels too. Oh my god. Alright. Today we're going to be reviewing the on-stage uh, hex-based boom stand uh, for the studio. So we bought this because we've been using these normal on-stage stands. You see, we're musicians and we're uh, monetarily deficient and we buy these cheap stands. They're pretty good, but they're not good at holding heavy mics over a drum set. So that's why we bought this hex stand, large boom stand. But we are very disappointed in it because it has poor build quality and overall poor design. So first of all, it doesn't go very high. It only goes to about seven feet and the build quality is pretty cheap on these connectors that hold the boom, they are plastic. And the connectors that work the boom, the knuckle, are have these uh, steps in them instead of the smooth turning things that you'd find on a normal stand. Same thing with the knuckle up here. The wheels are really shitty and get caught and don't move very smoothly. And I feel like this thing could just come, just strip at any point. Like, this does not seem like it's worth the money. So, this is a C stand. This is used for lighting and holds lighting. These things can be found on Amazon for $100. And as you can see, the grips that they have are solid and made out of metal. So, we're gonna see how long this stand will last in the studio. It doesn't seem like it's worth the cost, but compared to using a conventional studio boom stand, it will work for holding heavier microphones. It says it's rated for 14 pounds, so we'll see how it stands up in the studio. It's definitely not going to hold me. Okay, Tony. 